guys, I'm Joya and welcome back to my channel. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. So today we're going to be doing an at-home hair blowout with rollers. But today we're going to be trying them a little bit differently and I'll explain as we go along. I'm trying to see if you can really get uh, a salon blowout at home. My hair is very dry already because I did my makeup, so let's wet my hair. So I already showered and everything, but since I was doing my makeup, oh my gosh, can you hear that? <laughs> my hair got dry since it didn't have any product in it. So today I'm going to be using the Revlon, um, I don't know what it's called. I feel like you all know what this is by now. Excuse the hair on it. First, I'm just gonna split my hair in half. Okay, first off, I'm gonna apply some leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. Applying it by sections, I feel like, helps me make sure I get everything. Sometimes I don't apply by section, and I feel like not everything, not every strand of hair is coated with product, so I feel like this is easier. Next, I'm going to be applying the Wow Color Wow Dream Coat. I used this last time, I blow dried my hair and I put in rollers. To be honest, I don't know if it really made a huge difference in my hair. Usually I apply product to my hair anyway when I blow dry it, just because if I don't, it's gonna be frizzy. Okay, now for this step, I usually like to apply a curl cream even when I'm blow drying my hair or like straightening my hair, just because I feel like it adds so much more shine whenever I do this. My hair is so shiny, even after just using the blow dryer, I don't even have to straighten it a lot of the time, so that's what I do. Oh, this is the We Dad Advanced Climate Control Styling Cream. I really like this styling cream. It's really lightweight, but it still adds a lot of moisture and helps protect against humidity. And make sure to pay a lot of attention to your ends. Now I'm gonna brush it out, make sure all the product is evenly coated, is evenly coating my hair. I don't know what I just said. For the hair rollers, before we get started, I saw this TikTok, I'm gonna put her name somewhere on the screen, I forgot her name, um, but she put just a couple on the top of her head, a couple hair rollers, and she slept in it. And when she woke up, there's a lot of volume, so we're gonna try that and see what happens. And I kinda like that, because the bottom is gonna be a little bit longer, because I like when my hair looks really long, so. We'll see. So this is very simple to use. It's literally just a hairbrush that's heated when you turn it on. Okay, it didn't turn on. There we go. I like to take smaller sections. The smaller, the better, especially if you have curly, frizzy hair. And I'll just blow dry like this and make sure to twist it. I just keep twisting it. I go forwards and backwards or on top and on bottom. I don't know how to explain anything. So we're just gonna do that to both sections and I will be back. Also forgot to mention to make sure you use a heat protectant. I don't think this is a heat protectant and I don't think any of my other products are heat protectants. So I'm not even following my own rules. But try your best to use a heat protectant. I should use a heat protectant. So do that. Okay, thank you. Gosh, I just remembered when I used the dream coat spray that I told you guys about that I didn't feel like did anything I Just remembered when I was filming the video that I'm never gonna post because I never finished I feel like it did add a lot of shine to my hair But I did use old plex that time So I don't really know but I'm, I used a good amount of products. So there better be shine in my hair. Okay. Anyways, let's continue So now I have done this side. Looks pretty good. Pretty shiny. I don't think I'll really have to straighten it except for like maybe some of the inside. This is like over here. What I noticed, I think for this side, number one, look at the color difference. I think for this side, I am going to blow dry everything together so I can get the root first. Because when you do it piece by piece, it's kind of hard to get as close to the root as possible without getting all the other hairs in with it. And that pisses me off. Like it enrages me when I'm drying a piece and then I try to get closer to the root and it grabs more pieces together with it. Oh my gosh, I can't even explain the rage I feel 
when that happens and that happens all the time so i feel like this is not even really a tutorial this is more of a watch me try to do my hair i don't really know anyways i'm going to spray my hair a little bit because it's getting a little dry i think i'm going to twist this section up i think this is how i'll probably sleep i'm just gonna twist it up into a little bun to get the hair out of the way so let's go and see how this works <laughs> Okay, so now it's a little bit drier at the root, but we have this, so I guess let me keep going. Finished this section. I'm actually really happy with it. It looks shiny and pretty. So a couple things. I started from front to back. I feel like that really helped a lot to not get the rest of the hair in the brush, in the section. Because when I was going back to front, all of the, like the wet hair was right here. So it was easier for it to get caught with everything else and it was just frustrating. Starting from the front and having the next pieces that you want to do in the back, I feel like helps a lot. But it looks pretty good. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was done with a piece, I like curled it. And then it like just formed a cute curl like this one. Well, that one was curled the wrong way. Okay, that is also curled the wrong way, but it helps, I think, to form the curl. Okay, so I forgot to apply hair oil, so I'm going to undo this section. Oh, wow. You can use any hair oil. I kind of switch it up. I have this little sample. I mean, it's not even really little. It's the Sol de Janeiro. I think that's how you say it. Sol de Janeiro. I don't know. The Brazilian Glossy Nourishing Hair Oil. This smells really good. And it's really glossy and thick. I'm just going to take some, rub it in my hands. Start at the ends first. Go all throughout my hair. This is just going to add a lot more shine. As you can see, it's really shiny, cute, and curly. Just what we want. I'm going to take this half and twist it into a bun. I'm using these hair bobbles just so it doesn't leave like a kink or anything in my hair. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the top section blow dry everything so then after that we can get straight to the rollers okay so i have now finished the top layer it was a little bit frizzy but i added some of the oil and that helped a lot so i got a huge pack of hair rollers from like walgreens i think they're just the velcro hair rollers i think i'm just gonna use a bunch of different sizes and see what happens just to add a little bit of definition let me start with the back i think i'm gonna take a piece about this big and I'm gonna roll them each different ways. Like this one, I'm gonna be doing under, just, honestly, just because. And secure it with a bobby pin. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna stop it for now and come back when I'm almost done. It's literally gonna die at the worst part. So I have these two pieces left. Oh my gosh, I can't see. I just kind of put a bunch of random different sizes in. I tried to make it as even as possible, but there was more hair on this side, so whatever, and there's still more hair on this side. But we're gonna try. This is like, um, not the smallest, but the second smallest. I tried to make it as even as possible, but I had more hair on one side of my head. So I'm just rolling this up, and I'm gonna pin it with a bobby pin. My camera's about to die, but if my camera dies, I will see you guys tomorrow morning to take them out. I'm gonna sleep like this, put on my silk bonnet, and see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Still haven't taken off my bonnet. I'm surprised it stayed on all night because usually it comes off, but actually I probably stayed on because of rollers. It was hard to sleep, so I think next time I'm just gonna put them like up top and in the front because I had some on the sides. That was a mistake. Let's take this bonnet off. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, they all stayed intact. Wow, let's take these two bottom pieces out first. Oh, well that's a lot curlier than I expected. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have um, put them in buns like that, but hopefully like they'll fall. Okay, lovely, it's fine. Let's just take out, oh, wow. Why do I look like a founding father? Somehow I always get my hair really stuck. <laughs> no, I'm 
now for the big finale. Oh. My hair got stuck in my... Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, what is this? Why do I kind of like this? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I look actually ridiculous? Do I look like George Washington? I like a cute George Washington. Okay, so I just need to like straighten the inside parts and maybe some of like the parts like underneath here. Maybe that will like smooth it out a little bit. Honestly, like for not straightening it, for just using the Revlon, it's like shiny and pretty and like still fluffy, which I like, I really like that look. I would just apply more oil to my hair, especially more like the ends because they're like probably the frizziest. I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see. Can you guys see this? Does it look good? But I probably recommend putting a little bit of hairspray, like a light hold hairspray and some hair oil. I can't stop touching my hair, I'm sorry. That always happens when I straighten my hair. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I was looking at the viewfinder the whole time because first of all, I don't know if I'm focused or not. Second of all, I'm just trying to take this all in. Let me know what you think of this. Be honest, what do I look like to you? Is it cute or no? And I guess I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.